నమస్తే వ్యూయర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు జ్ఞానదేగుల ఛానల్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ ఎపిసోడ్ వి విల్ సి ది మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఓం షరభాయ రమ షరభ దిస్ వర్డ్ కమ్స్ ఇన్ విష్ణు సహస్రనామ షరభ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఎవర్ విచ్ ఈస్ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ శివ సహస్రనామర్ శివాష్టోత్తర ఆల్సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్ మీ గో త్రూ వాట్ షరభ మీన్స్ దిస్ షరభ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ డిఫరెంట్ ఇంటర్ప్రిటేషన్స్ ఇన్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ కాంటాక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ హిందూ ఫిలాసఫీ Sharaba means one who present one who is present and shines forth through the bodies one who dwells one who uh, is inside and then shines forth through bodies in the in this interpretation sharaba is described as the divine principle as the uh, very uh, important principle that uh, that is there within all living beings sometimes shara is used to refer to bodies which are considered perishable shara means perishable bodies that means all uh, living creatures you know they are perishable which are considered perishable in hindu thought because they are temporary in nature they are not permanent and they are subject to birth and death See, not only living beings even non living beings also they are temporary in nature maybe they may be present for a longer time but they are all temporary in nature consider for example this earth itself it is said to be it is said to be an offshoot of uh, sun some portion of sun uh, distanced away from sun and then that cooled down and then uh, this earth formed that is what even science also says so this also is temp- uh, if you compare this with the uh, timelessness uh, time the uh, very large infinite time uh, line even this non living thing or earth or many things are also temporary in nature anyway see all these temporary uh, uh, things are subject to birth and death they they are born they appear and then they disappear they disappear means death they die the self or that lord what we call self self means atra atma so self is not self uh, we describe in many uh, ways that brahma so the self or the lord uh, is the eternal and unchanging aspect eternal it is always there unchanging aspect and that dwells within these perishable bodies so that means that unchanging thing which dwells in the bodies when it moves away from the body the body decays the body dies but whereas that unchanging uh, thing na that aspect which dwells in these mortal bodies is always there this kind of interpretation emphasizes the idea that the individuality of each living being individuality of each living being is a reflection of the divine presence within them so each living body which is what we see is only a reflection is only 
a mirror image of the divine presence within them it reflects the concept of atman slowly it reflects the you are to move towards the atman that is the individual soul individuality is not separate it is only a manifestation it is only a manifestation of the paramatman supreme soul or god is there are so many individuals that is multiplicity of uh, existence there are lot of things are uh, multiplicity of uh, manifestation ultimately they are all mirror images they go back now even lord shiva as sharabha another interpretation of sharabha relates to lord shiva according to hindu mythology and history lord shiva once assumed the form of sharabha sharabha is a uh, we do not know whether it existed or not but that word is there which means i think it must have been there also that uh, animal must have been there anyway it's a debatable uh, point this sharaba is a mythical creature we will call it as a mythical creature because nowadays you know without any proof uh, uh, nobody will accept uh, like that so now this mythical creature it is said to have eight legs normally we have two legs two limb two limbs two hands and uh, two legs animals have four legs and there are creatures without legs all many of the reptiles they do not have legs at all there are uh, creatures with multiple legs centipede or also many are there there are creations which uh, have multiple legs and uh, no doubt this sharaba also must have had been there with uh, eight legs anyway this uh, sharaba this creature had eight legs very sharp claws very hard his uh, claws was very sharp and then it had immense power imagine even uh, animals like lion tiger why even dog uh, cat they have very uh, sharp and then very hard claws which they use it to um, fight and then which they use it for their prey so <clears throat> and sharaba is said to have been created to subdue the fierce form of lord narasimha who was a half lion half man incarnation of lord vishnu sharaba was able to control even the most ferocious beings including lions symbolizing the supreme power of lord shiva so there are always people say that, uh, there are stories where uh, shiva vishnu you know they inter uh, intermix in many of the things you know shiva lord vishnu lord uh, shiva they both uh, have uh, been a part of certain uh, active uh, certain actions certain stories all those things are there here in this context sharaba represents lord shiva in his formidable and powerful aspect this interpretation highlights lord shiva's role as a protector and savior in hindu mythology anyway in both interpretation sharaba carries a sense of divine presence and power it can either refer to the divine essence within all living beings or to lord shiva in his powerful and protective form of course the choice of uh, interpretation may depend on the specific context and the school of thought within hinduism there are a lot of schools of thoughts in hinduism some follow certain traditions uh, even among uh, 
particular uh, uh, school of thought there are several uh, sub schools of thoughts which they of course that is being maintained and that is being carried on for generations those traditions those uh, interpretations those uh, values those thoughts are carried from generation to generation uh, this is diversity in thought this diversity has to be preserved it is being preserved in the hindu tradition unlike other uh, traditions where you uh, you start uh, neglecting the other traditions you start condemning other traditions hindu tradition you know you it carries all traditions and it it respects all traditions that is the thing overall the term sharabha showcases the multifaceted nature of hindu religious and philosophical concepts where a single term can have different meanings and associations depending on the context and interpretation viewers with this uh, uh, explanation we would be uh, closing this video thank you for your uh, valuable time uh, listening to or uh, viewing this video please i am sure you would have liked it please like uh, share this uh, video with others and then uh, subscribe to our channel like us whatever observations you have made you are able to uh, observe please make comments in the comment box thank you once again